Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. Thanks for joining me today for the CCNA and CSENT quick quiz on real world troubleshooting. Something that you'll run into in a lab or the real world sooner or later. And I don't think it's going to hurt to know this for your exams either. You're troubleshooting a remote router. And being a good troubleshooter, you start troubleshooting where? At the physical layer of the OSI model. It's where you always start your troubleshooting. Mm -hmm. Now you suspect there is a loose cable on one of the serial interfaces on that router. What command can you run from your remote location to let you know if this is the case and where in that output can you see if this is indeed the case? It's not enough to know the command, you gotta know exactly where to find it. We will bring up a live Cisco router in just a moment and I'm gonna show you how what it looks like when there is a cable and when there isn't a cable. When you're done here, head out to udemy.com slash u slash Chris Bryant. I've got over 8,000 students in my video boot camps. I was named the number one instructor on Udemy last month, and I'm very, very pleased with that. Thank you so much for that. And I've got plenty of free courses out there, and even the paid courses have some free videos for you to watch before you spend the dime. So come on out and have a look around. Again, that's udemy.com slash u slash Chris Bryant. Now let's go all that router up here. Because, boy, I've run into this in a lab environment and especially a real-world environment. And you don't want to drive downtown at 2 o'clock in the morning to look for a loose cable. What you want to do is run the show controller command followed by the interface that you suspect has an issue with the cable. And in this case, we'll run serial 0. And it's easy to kind of panic the first time you see this because you're just like, What is all of this? This is all stuff you don't have to worry about right now. What you're running this command for really is that information right there. So don't get, no, don't look down and say, oh, I got 16 rows of all these characters. I don't know what this means. You're not supposed to know what all this means yet. V35 DTE cable tells you that the table is, excuse me, the cable is there. Now, if you run it and there is no cable, this is exactly what it's going to look like. No cable. So it's going to tell you if you've got a DTE DCE cable on there, it's going to tell you which end of that cable is connected, whether it's the DCE end or the DTE end. And if there is no cable, then by golly, it's going to tell you that too. Thanks for taking today's CCNA quick quiz. Plenty more on the way. So if you're watching this on YouTube, take a moment to subscribe. I'll see you at Udemy, and thanks for making TBA part of your CCNA success story.